Hey guys, this is Florian from Off to Lens, and today I want to talk about the lenses I use with our BMPCC 4K. This is a question that I've been asked a lot since I've started posting videos with the camera. So in this video I will be talking about three lenses that I've used with the BMPCC 4K and in general as well, and why I like shooting with them as well as their pros and cons. These lenses are from three different brands and I aim a different kind of shooting style and are all under a thousand US dollars. Before I get into it, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this one. The first one is the Lumix 12-35 2.8 Mark I. I've been using this lens for almost 4 years now and it has been my favorite lens to use with the original Pocket as well as the new one. So if you watched any of our other videos with the BMPCC 4K, they were most likely shot with it. Regarding the pros of this lens, the main feature of this lens for me is the IS, which is essential when shooting with the Pocket 4K and it definitely helps. With this lens you also get a constant aperture of 2.8 which is amazing and even better now that the BMPCC 4K has great low light performance. The range is very useful as well and equals to roughly about 24 to 70 on a full frame equivalent. The glass is sharp but not too sharp. The lens is also very light which is great when traveling and shooting in general, especially if you're like me and you like minimal setup. It is also weather sealed which is always nice and the overall build quality is good as well. One of the cons is the price. At 900 US dollars this lens can be quite expensive. The focusing can also be tricky as it has a rather long throw and is not exactly precise. 12mm as well might not be enough in some cases, so if you're looking for a wide angle that might not be the one. The Lumix 12-35 is the lens that I've used the most as it can do pretty much everything. If I had to pick one lens for the pocket, that would be it. The range is great, so you can choose a large variety of content. The two-point aperture gives you a nice shallow depth of field, and the size and portability makes it a perfect travel lens, which is what we use the BMPCC 4K mostly for. The second lens is the Canon FD 24mm 2.8. This is a vintage lens, so this is a bit special. I bought this one because I also own a 35mm Canon film camera, and I was curious to see how it would look on the pocket 4K, and it looks great. It's perfect for when you get that vintage look but you don't want to break the bank. Regarding the pros of this lens, first of all, the glass is top-notch quality. It's hard to beat a prime when it comes to that. It also gives you this nice vintage organic warm look, which is what I was after when I bought it. The flares are also quite nice. Secondly, it is also super cheap and you can find them on eBay for example for under $100. So of course this type of lens can come with some disadvantage. The mount is FD, so you would have to get an adapter for it. I've paid only $30 for mine on Amazon. I've linked my whole kit in the description, so feel free to have a look. There's no IS as well, so you can quickly get very shaky if you don't own a gimbal or some sort of stabilizer. As a sensor of the Pocket 4K is 1.9, and those lenses were made for full frame cameras, it can be hard to go wide. This 24mm gives you roughly a 45mm on a full frame equivalent. Focusing can be tricky, but this also depends on the state of the lens. I would recommend this lens to anyone that wants a different look without spending too much. They're easy to buy, easy to sell, and it's definitely a nice feeling to shoot on primes and I find myself to be more careful when framing a shot with a lens like this. And last but not least, the Sigma 18-35 1.8. This lens is a beast. I have been shooting with this lens for more than a year on a regular basis with different cameras, Blackmagic included, so I'm very much used to it, and I absolutely love it. I haven't actually shot with this one on a Pocket 4K yet, as I do not own the right adapter, but I've shot it a bit since our friend has one. Regarding the pros of this lens, this lens feels like you really have three different primes into one. The build quality is amazing, it is built like a tank. The focus ring is big and smooth and feels great, and the 1.8 makes it perfect for low light situations or for extreme shallow depth of field. So regarding the cons, the mount of the versions that I got is EF, so you would have to get an adapter for it, such as Metabones, and they can be quite expensive. This lens is also quite heavy, actually heavier than a pocket itself, and it feels quite front heavy, especially if you don't have a cage. It also doesn't have IS, so it can be a problem if you're more of a run and gun type of shooter. Same as a 12 to 35, 18mm might not be wide enough for you. There you have it guys, hopefully this was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what are your favorite lenses for the Pocket 4K. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.